Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another in bed video because I still don't have a desk. So here is my little setup here. I want to show you guys what my 2021 setup is as well as what I'm going to be doing for 2022. <laughs> All right, so we'll put 2022 away. We're gonna do 2021 right now. So every day I am using these two right here. I have my A5 right here in this sky case uh, A5 six ring binder that I got from Amazon. I have a few things over here, mostly just uh, previous months, as well as some balance checkbook, checkbook registry pages from Annie Land's printables. These are right here, these printables right here for this month on four pages is going to be from Marcia Ferrucci. I am so sorry, I consistently butcher that name. I feel really, really bad, trust me, I do because I use her inserts a lot. And then I have a small little stack, stack here of gold paper prints as always i will have this linked down below because i do have a uh, pr code for you guys to use to get 25 percent off uh these right here these dividers a couple that i have left these are from the carpe diem a5 binder that broke on me after several months and the stencil right here i actually used in my bullet journal this is also from amazon I'll just show you guys real quick. I have the months here. So this will end in December. And then my next section right here after the little preview of 2022, my checkbook registry. And then I just have like a bunch of notes and crap paper back here, including some for my discount that I'm going to be trading my rings for. And then every day, this is also my bullet journal that I use daily, weekly, monthly. This is my everything, my end all be all. And the pen I like to use to write with is going to be the 0.5 friction black pen. And then I also use the 0.7 friction pens that are in a, I believe, I want to say an 18, 16 or 18 pack. They have multiple, multiple colors. And I will actually show you guys all of them actually when I show you guys what is in my case here. But I will do that in another video. So here's my bullet journal. October just ended. Today is actually November 2nd when I am when I am uh, recording this. What I've been doing is in the front. I've decided that I'm going to do the year. And then for my quote right here, I decided I just need something very, very simple. And for me, that is a year of success. That is what I plan on 2021 being, which it has been up and down to be perfectly honest. But anyways, um, I was going to put my priorities over here like I did in my, like I did in my other two um, bullet journals, which I will have all of my bullet journals um, flip through. I'll do, be doing that at the end of the year. So for this one, I have my priorities and my daily layout. Just to kind of remind myself, it has changed here and there. October, I have my, here, I'll just skip to this month. So I have two tabs right here. These are from Post-It. These are old. I got these off Amazon. And then I use, like I said, the 0.7 for November. I'm using brown to write with our or do like headers with, and then uh, this dark blue for the outline. Um, I also decided blue is gonna be for my cover page. So for November, 2021, I copied a doodle of a turkey. I have all my events and everything right here. So I can go back and forth when I'm planning out each week and day. And then I recently decided to add some habit trackers. Um, for November, we're going to do no junk food, which unfortunately I can't mark it off for today. 
exercise, which I still have not done, and self-care, which I'm going to be doing right after this video. And then I have my month right here to go by with Monday through Saturday, or Monday through Sunday, which again, I use all the stencils from Amazon, which if I remember, I will link down below. I have my bills right here and when they are due. And then for these three columns that I created, um, this is my like daily scribble of what's been going on. And then once you go into the month, you I have my overview right here of the week. I have put this week and then the date. I have like a little week calendar right here. I have what's going on today. Um, my daughter consistently says, what's happening? So I decided to incorporate that in my bullet journal because I thought that was cute. So I have that right there. And then I have my to-dos. Um, the first few right here, the first like four or five are usually ones I do every week. Um, and then I decided just yesterday for a new month that if I don't get it done on this day, on the day it's supposed to get done, I'm just going to put it over here. And then when I get it done, I'll get it done. So um, there's that. So that's that weekly. And then I actually created both of these all on my own. This is not inspired by anybody or anything. This is my own layout. I have my date here. I put the weather right there. And I don't know why this is so blurry. Um, this is the moon affirmation that I got from Moon Omens. They send you a daily affirmation every day. I have my events on the left-hand side. Um, Pickup times for my daughter because she takes the bus. My daily tasks that have not changed and will not change. Um, followed by that day's priorities. So my Monday priorities was to wash towels and take the recycle out. And then my prep for tomorrow mostly does not change. I have my water tracker right here and then meals. And then on the right hand side, I have pretty much what I do each day is I have very specific weekly tasks for each day. Um, so for like yesterday, I wanted to fold the laundry, which I did not do. I didn't put it over here because, well, that's just, it's going to get done when it gets done. However, I go down here and I didn't clean the coffee maker yesterday, but I can mark that I did it today. Um, I do a week or a monthly cleaning of very specific things. I have not cleaned out my vacuum as well as change out the filter, which actually really, really, really needs to get done. I did film my October um, bullet journal flip through, which um, is currently up. And then at the very bottom, it doesn't have on every day, but if there's like little things I need to remember, such as um, what's due today, I put that down here and then I highlight it in yellow. I do sort of um, color coordinate. Uh, for example, these ticks right here are all purple. Um, that's for me. Blue is going to be my husband. Pink for my daughter. Green for like home or bills. And yellow for important. So then I just go through and I have the whole day, the whole week. And then it just starts all over again. And I don't really, I have not finished November, which I just have been very busy the last couple of months. So I haven't been able to set up my bullet journal the way that I would really, really like to. But once you get into November, it just starts all over again. I love my routine. I love my, the way that I have everything set up. So I'm going to continue doing that with the cover page right here. My events that are going on that month. Habit tracker. Bills. And then daily scribble. Weekly overview. And dailies all the way through. And in this one, because I'm only doing three months, the, the past two bullet journals had four months. Um, I'm only missing January. I started doing bullet journaling on uh, February 8th. So there's that. And that is what I do every day is I go into my A5 and I see what's going on. I go here first and then I balance my checkbook and then I go into my day, my bullet journal and go through the whole system there. And I can always do a uh, morning and a nighttime routine for you guys if you want um, because I do end up every night coming straight 
to my daily, my weekly, and then to my monthly, and then I move everything to the next day, meaning I go ahead and I mark off for the next day, highlight anything that is going on that day as well, go through my habit trackers, look at my weekly again for the following day, and just continuously do that cycle. So that is my 2021. And then for 2022, I'm going to be moving to Dusk Ground because if I'm going to film, this is going to be a million times easier to be able to pull it out and put it back in. Um, I am using the tool two inch this with the tool uh, black leather cover. And then inside, I just have some receipts. This cover right here is um, from Eagle. It's on Amazon as well as Tool. And I decided to put this in just because I wanted something to keep my all my pages in. And then when you open up, I have a blank piece right there. I did decide I wanted to try Dustbound um, when I saw Fancy Plans Co., which I will link my unboxing down below. That's where it all started. And obviously, it has changed a million times over. Um, I'm not going to keep, I'm probably not going to use all of the things that I got from her, but I am definitely going to repurchase certain things. So for instance, right here, I have the inbox. Oh, I have this just to remind me. Um, this is the 11 desk paper, even though these, this whole thing here is half letter or junior. Um, but the paper right here is from, uh, on Amazon called 11 desk. And I'm just reminding myself that it's 41 dots up and down and 25 across. So that way, when I am trying to figure out a new layout or how I want to change things around or design things, I can use that as a reference. And then I have my Planner Kate um, Occupational Therapy and Physical Therapy stickers right here. I have Fancy Plans Co. Um... 2021 overview right here, as well as using her subject style weekly. Um, I use this to track my daughter, my husband, myself, my home, anything that's going on in the family, like birthdays or anything like that, or even like the dogs. I was going to do dogs separately like I had here, but I don't know. I don't need to do something for them every single day. It's just very specific times a month. So I have that. And then down here, I'm just put, started putting like notes, cycle day, trash day, stuff like that, what I need to do. And inside, I have my inbox right here. And then I did decide that I really, really like the subject style. So I decided to design my own. I mean, it's very, very similar, but this is very similar to Happy Planner too. I just... This is my own lines and everything. Um, and if you're interested in knowing like how many dots over and everything, I can always tell you that. Um, I'm going to eventually end up making a video of me setting up an entire month. That might take forever because I don't have a desk, but we'll see. Um, so right now I have the rest of 2021 in here. I still have not finished November, but I'm trying to do one thing at a time, not overwhelm myself. I have December right here, and the way that I'm doing the weeks um, is how Annie plans does her month, so then I just break up the weeks. Uh, these rose gold clips are also from Amazon, and the dividers are Amazon. I want to say the these are 11 disc, but I don't remember. Um, I have some just like doodles that I was, well, some designs that I was trying to figure out like how I like them. The marble vellum is Fancy Plans Co. And then I decided to use my post-its. These are the full adhesive except for like, you know, a little tab right here. This is my 2022 overview that I created myself. Horrific handwriting, I know, but there's six months there. And then what I plan on doing is just flipping it around so that way I'm not going back and forth back and forth um that way I can just see the next six months and then I wanted to figure out like what doodle I want to do for the monthly cover as well as what colors are going to work which highlighters and everything so I did that and then these tabs right here are Avery 
from that I also got from you guessed it Amazon and then here's a little sneak peek for January so I have a this month tab I have a this week tab I have a weekly overview at the top and a today at the top and then a weekly on the side I'm trying to think if there's anything I'll show you guys the full 2021 once it's done. Right now it's just blank, but I am going to do the same thing I did in my bullet journal where I have the cover page and then I'll have my events and everything right there. This time I'm going to have five trackers or habit trackers. Um, I just went through the whole year's worth and just took a page for each month. So that way as... The rest of this year goes anything I need to remember I can put down in here as well as just throughout next year anything I need to write down for future I can put it for the future so I just need to actually transfer all this to here I'm just waiting a little bit longer to do that then I still have my monthly view right here my bills ready and my scribble ready and then I didn't know, I don't know what I, how I want to design like the front cover right here. But right now, this is how it's going to be. Let me know what the dates are and with like the little weekly calendar there. And then I'm going to do the subject style. I really like that. And inside here, I'm going to do the weekly overview. So I'm taking from my bullet journal what's usually on the left side. And I'm just going to put it on one page. And then instead of having it be so it's here and then I start my dailies which I really did think about it but then I was like nah so I'm gonna do one week right here and then I'm gonna do it again where I'm gonna be able to flip it up like this just flip it up and then that way I can just continue moving it over because I figure I can also what I'm gonna do is be able to take this out and then when I start going into my dailies which will be behind my um, weekly. I thought about putting my dailies inside the week, but then I was like, I'm going to be flipping back and forth. I don't know. I even have thought about um, making it so that way I just continue flipping and flipping when I need to. So I'm always looking on the right side and comparing it to this side. But I think I'm just going to stick with what I know. Um, so I wrote today on both sides of this, so I continue just moving that over. These are repositional tabs that you can also rewrite. And then the next week, same deal, the divider again. This is, this goes with the same, it's uh, five dividers that are from Amazon. And then here's the next two months or next two weeks after. So the first two weeks, these are second two weeks. And then divider again. And then future planning. So right now I have um, all these according to any plans. Um, printables, which I did make, I do have written right there. And then that way I have that as a reference. And then January is already in front for me to be able to transfer everything. But then here's February all the way through December with the last few pages being. And I don't know why these keep like popping out. I don't know if I need thicker paper or if I'm doing this wrong. I've never used a desk, down, desk bound um, planner in my life. So there's that. So there's, all right, so there's each month, and then here's the school year, and again, I decided that I wanted to be able to just flip it up, so on the back, I'll be able to flip it up, and there's the next school year. Here's the 2022 holidays, as well as when the uh, seasons start. I track all this because I do have stickers from Gold Paper Prints, where I can put that in my bullet journal. And then I have a moon calendar app on my phone. And I went ahead and wrote down when the new moon and full moon is because I also like to track that because I'm trying to get myself into creating 
projects and goals and having it be like, okay, well, I'm going to start a new project on the second, but then it needs to be done by the 17th or be done by the next full moon. So be done by the 30th before the new moon starts, next moon, new moon starts. Um, I know it's usually every two weeks, but I know, I don't know. I thought this would be fun. Um, I started doing it. I really like it. I have one more thing I need to do for my master bathroom and then I've completed that project. Um, and then I have the toll line paper that came with this cover. And then here's the back of the cover and there's a loop there. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention the very front here. I do have the Fancy Plans Co. loop. This is one of the reasons, if not the reason, why I was like, you know what? I really want to put this inside because I can't move this. It's a really, really nice pen loop. So why not? I don't want to spend the money to get another one when I already have one. And I know I have one in here as well, but I like what I have. So that is it for my 2021 20, current setup as well as the one and only setup for next year. I will most definitely be changing this around quite a bit because I do want to be able to put in lists and meal planning. I have that kind of figured out, kind of, sort of, as well as... Um, just being able to do everything I do here and here and put it into one planner and end all be all catch all freaking planner, whatever you want to call it. I, I really like the disc bound. I've been playing with it every day. Yeah. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you'll subscribe if you like this as well as hit that notification bell so that way if you do subscribe that you can make sure that you get a notification every time I have a new video, which I really am trying to do as often as possible. So yeah, lots of videos coming in the future, which I will also be putting a uh, video content planner in here as well. Um, and PR and everything else. I'm just trying to put all my life into one thing that I can carry around. So, all right, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.